So you happen to see Argo on Steam and decide to give it a try. But then you do and you get wrecked and at the same time you get really bad FPS and to top it all off, you're getting killed by teammates or killing them. So listen closely and take notes and stay till the ending and I show you a little super secret way to level up faster, like 10,000 points per match faster. So the first thing you want to do is head over to options, video options and turn down everything to low. I mean, if this is your first time playing anything that has to do with Bohemia Interactive, I highly suggest just setting all that shit to low and only then hopping into a match. But uh, I'll just turn down everything to super low real quick and I'll even show you uh, more uh, options that you can turn down for better, uh, for more FPS. And then it's going to look like something like this, but uh, radial blur and rotation blur going to be a bit up, just turn that off, AO, also low, all that disabled, you don't need any of that shit, I mean it makes your game look pretty but you don't really need it, as long as you're going for FPS. So next thing you want to do real quickly is head over to audio and uh, well, it is really up to you, play with the sounds and see what you like. But I mainly have mine turned down all the way, don't really need the music, it's a pretty big distraction while you're playing. So after audio, you want to check out game options. And here a little bit more settings, but uh, mainly you want to turn down that uh, head popping. It is like watching through GoPro on someone's head while they're riding around. Very annoying. So now we're done with our settings, we're gonna go ahead and jump into equipment. And uh, equipment is pretty uh, universal, it's pretty easy to understand, nothing too difficult, but uh, we're going to jump into the skill tree. And uh, in the skill tree it is kind of like an MMO format, like if, uh, as if you would play World of Warcraft or League Losers or Farmers only online. In that sort of sense, you unlock stuff by uh, leveling up and then once you level up you get one of these little icons top right over here and then from there you use uh, one or two at a time every many it needs to unlock the, the next uh, weapon or sights or some silencer if you want or even armor depending on how much you have and uh, once it is spent you can go into armory and uh, purchase that weapon for that little icon it is also on top right as you can see right here once it is purchased you would go over to uh, loadout over here and from loadout you would uh, select one of the loadout numbers top middle of your screen right here as you can see and uh, once you do that you uh, scroll over to weapons select the weapon that you want to use that you purchased after unlocking it and uh, you would click save loadout and uh, that is it Now, let us get into the action on my favorite game mode, Link. So you hop into a link match and you're trying to figure out but it's just not doing it for you, you know, you just run around, you don't know why you're losing, why you're getting killed so fucking fast for no reason. So this is what is up. So when you first join you're going to spawn your flag, either uh, orange team or blue team and uh, depending on the server that you join it could be either hardcore or easy, in this case I joined a hardcore match 
as you can see here there's no real HUD, there's doesn't tell you anything but you have to press tab to open your scoreboard so once you first spawn in you spawn in on your flag and then from there you have to move to either 1b 1 bravo or 1 alpha you have to capture either one you don't need to get both in order to get two once you have two you can move on to M for main main point, we call it. Once they cap their two, they can also cap M. But if you capture their two, they cannot capture M. That they have to fall back and capture their two again. So see what you mean? It's kind of like uh, like spider web of conquest, like battlefield conquest. Kind of sucks that you can't capture their one A or one B. But uh, that's just how the game goes. And all at the same time, you can move around anywhere you see over here. Like the whole map, you can go as far as you fucking want. Although I do not advise it, but that ability is there. And I absolutely love that. More games need to incorporate that ability. So a few more things I wanted to mention is that uh, if you ever get the bug where you spawn in with a TRG and only one magazine, you're kind of shit of luck with that life. But what you could do is spend the ammunition very wisely and kill an enemy pick up his weapon. The way that you'd pick up his weapon is to run up to him, you'd have a little icon pop up middle of your screen, and simply press spacebar on it. Same thing with opening doors, you run up to it and also hit spacebar. So the next thing I wanted to talk about are these random airdrops that uh, land around the map. And what they do is two things. One, if you capture it, it prevents the enemy from capturing any point for 25 seconds and prevents them from spawning in if they die now or died before and are waiting for a respawn. It's very useful, it gives you a little bit of breathing room and continue the fight. So the next thing I want to mention are the different stances that you have on Argo, which is a complete takeaway from Arma 3, which is cool that they included that as well because it is very useful in close quarters combat or even long range combat, where you're taking cover but you don't want to expose yourself all the way. It also prevents right side advantage, meaning that if you're approaching from the right side you will always have the advantage compared to the person who's on the left. This prevents that by you being able to switch to your left hand and aim from the left side, which in turn turns it into a more equal fight. No player has an advantage and no player has a disadvantage. Both are just relying on skill at that point. So now I'm going to show you the super secret way of leveling up faster. All you really need for requirements is just one other player. One other friend, could be anybody. Ask someone if they want to uh, level up in the next game, join an empty lobby, and just have him be on the separate team. And head over to an either enemy 2 or you, your 2 once you have your point capped in order to move up to 2. And then from there you simply take turns capturing 2 and it will generate you lots of points. I already tried this on M, on other nodes. No other nodes really give you any XP besides capturing M, and that only gives you like 35. And it takes really long. So your best bet is to get a teammate, have him join the opposite team, and head over to A2 and take turns capping it. And uh, it's best out of 5, so take turns uh, winning the match. Down here, we managed to get a full team, full 5v5 doing this and at the end of the match you can see my score here pretty fucking super high <laughs> that would take a couple of good matches to get that kind of scoreboard anyway that is it i hope you learned something from here and hope you uh, get back in there to kick some ass i will see you there